Hello and welcome to our podcast on Google Application Engine installing on Vista. So here we are at google.com and we'll just use the search to go to App Engine. And we'll find the Google Application Engine website. And, and then we'll go to download. And then we will download the Windows version of the App Engine. I'm going to save this. Save it right to my desktop. So it's now been saved to my desktop. I'll close this. I'll close this. And now I'll go ahead and install it. And yes, I'm happy to run this. It's got, I've got Python 2.5 already installed in this computer, otherwise it would ask us to install Python 2.5. And it's a pretty quick install process. Just click, press next a few times. And it's going to ask us for whether or not we trust it. So we trusted it. So now it's doing the installation. Doesn't take long. So now we're all done. So the uh, first thing I'll do is I want to clean this up, get rid of that off my desktop. Um, now we're going to write our first program. And I'm going to use JEdit to do that. Okay. So the first program, I'm, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm going to build two files. The first file I'm going to build is the app.yaml file and this file uh, basically tells the Google application engine uh, a bunch of information about our application. So the first thing we've got to tell it is the application name and the second one is the version. This is the version of our application. We're going to do this in the Python runtime. Right now that's the only choice we've got. API version one. The next thing we've got to do is can tell it which scripts to route each URL to. So the URL handler dash URL colon and then this is what's called a regular expression. Anything that starts with a, starts with a slash and dot a dot which is an arbitrary character followed by any number of arbitrary characters. Don't worry about what that means. You can look up regular expressions on Wikipedia if you really are curious. And then I've got to instant two spaces and type script colon index.py. And that's it. And so there's sort of this up front part, and then there's these handlers. And I'm going to save this. I am going to go to my home directory. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. And then I'm going to make a new directory called apps. And in that new directory, I'm going to make another directory called AE01 Trivial. I, the convention is to name the directories the same as the name of the application names. Go into the AE01 Trivial, and I'm going to save this file as app.yaml. So you'll notice I, that appears on my desktop. I've got a nice clean desktop. And in AE01 Trivial, we've got exactly one file, and it's app.yaml. So next, I'm going to make another file. And it's going to be really simple. This one's going to be say hi Chuck. And I'm going to save this one as index.py. So now I have two files in that directory. One is app yaml and the other one is index.py. And of course it's conveniently showing uh, hiding the uh, suffix for us to keep us from being confused. 
Okay, so now we're going to run the application engine, and we're going to do this in the command line. And so, you, if you got, you can click right there. But I'm going to type command and D, and then enter. Okay. Now you might have a path all set up that makes this short, but I'm going to type the whole path just because sometimes the path doesn't get set up. And this is a shortcut, a short way to do long file names. Oh, wait a sec. Before I do that. I got to go into my desktop, and then I go into apps, and I do a dir, and there I am in AEO on Trivial. Now I'm going to run the app engine, and so I'm going to type the whole path name, and I'm going to give you a shortcut to do this. So I type slash pr tab slash go for Google tab slash go again for Google tab slash dev which is the starting of the app server dev app server dot py and then I'm going to type aeo1 trivial which is the directory that contains my application engine application so I hit enter so it's not particularly happy with me so let's see what did I do wrong it says expected attribute Varian for object in app YAML line two column seven. Oops. Let's see what I did wrong. Let's go take a look at app YAML. App YAML Varian. There we go. Oh. Version is what I really mean meant to say. So if you make a mistake in your app YAML, it won't even start. But you just have to kind of hunt down, just like any other programming situation. It's telling you it might hide it among a bunch of blah, 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 but it's telling you what it's, we've done wrong. So now I'm going to just hit up arrow so I can run the same, try to start it again. And so there we go. Um, there's a command here talking about PIL module. That's the uh, it's images, but we don't, we're not going to use images for a while. So up we go and this is telling us HTTP colon slash slash localhost 8080 this is telling us where to navigate our browser to in order to interact with this application and so here we go HTTP, HTTP P colon slash slash localhost 8080 and it's starting up and it says hi there Chuck so let's let me show this a little bit. This command line that we were running gives us a um, where's the refresh on my browser here? Well, I'll just hit enter again. So so watch down here when I hit enter again. Oh, there we go. Now I got refresh. So I can hit refresh, and this is telling us each of the requests that's being made to our server, and it's just doing a get slash, and that's what's in this slash is being slash starts with slash, so it gets routed to index.py, so it runs the index.py program, and son of a gun, if the output doesn't come right out to our screen here, okay? Okay, so you can watch in the log. Um, so that's the basic running and creating of an application. We've already made a mistake with the uh, index.yaml file. Uh, let's make a, a mistake on the uh, Python. I'll, I'll mistakenly um, take the single quote out. And you'll note now when I hit refresh, a whole bunch of stuff happens. Okay, so you get this ugly purple error message that tells you something is wrong. It uh, could have been subtle about this, but it's going to tell you a lot. And the thing that's confusing is it's telling you about where in App Engine this error happened. And that's okay, but it's really not code you wrote, and it's not code that I wrote. And so, you know, maybe it might give us a clue. You just got to learn to ignore this and go all the way down to the bottom and look for this. It basically says you've got invalid, invalid syntax on index.py line 1. And it says that sort of same thing over again. 
Now, if you go look over in your log, it says the same thing. Now, this may not be right at the bottom. You may have to scroll up and down to find in your log where it's, where it's telling you. But sooner or later, it's telling us line one, index.py. And so I will make that change and put the quote back and hit the refresh button over in my browser. And it's happy now. And that's one of the nice things. While this thing is running, you can make changes and save them and just hit refresh. So it, when you change the files, it, it automatically knows that and it automatically reloads the files and uh, runs the new version. So you, you don't have to start and stop this uh, server. The only time you have to start and stop the server is if, the, uh, if, your, um, if your YAML file was wrong, it won't start it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll close this, I'll close this, and to uh, stop the server, you simply close it like that, and that's the end.